Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So every Tuesday and Thursday I'm going to be sharing tutorials using dies to make cards. So it's not going to change what I share on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday and sometimes over the weekend. Majority of those are funfold cards, unusual 3D projects that don't require specialty dies. That's all staying but on a Tuesday and a Thursday I've got some really good product I want to share and there's always people that want dies to do all the cutting for them so hopefully some of these will inspire you and you'll enjoy them. What I'm also going to do is share my similar tutorials to make these without the dies and I'll pop them up here. So this one here is a stepper card and most of the time you would have them this way but I've actually decorated this one as a side fold and I think it looks really nice. I'm going to talk through all the product that I've used in a moment. Now these are smaller as well so these are going to fit into an A6 size envelope so I've made this envelope here and I'm going to show you how I've made that as well. You've got some decoration on the back there but I've made this pretty little rosette and then when you open it up you've got your space inside there to write your message. Very easy to do and very quick to do because obviously it's all using dies. So let me show you how. So I've used this die, which is the High Centre Stepper card die set from the Creative Craft products. So I'll take all the dies out. So first of all, I've run through the largest die. Now you can cut two of these from a piece of A4, but that will go through a standard machine as well, because I just used my Big Shot for this one. So run that one through. And then I've got all of these pieces here. So for the back, you want to cut. You'll see you have a mat and layer for each piece. So I've used the largest there for the mat, which is this mirrored card, and then the largest one out of these two here for the bottom. And then you've got these two here, so I've run those through, and then you've got your two squares, and I've used the mirrored card. So that one there, and that one there, and then you've got your two squares. Now then for my pattern paper and where I'm going to write my message, I've used papers from this pad here and I've just used this one. And I've just kind of sat the die over the paper until I got parts of the design in that I wanted because this one's going to be landscape. So that one's going to go in there. And then I use the layer there in the white and that's going to go on the back and that's where I'm going to write my message. So I'm going to fold all this next and then we'll stick all these down. But I just wanted to show you that it's quite nice that you can lay everything out like this. You can see how it's all going to look right down to placing your sentiment and then any other extra decorations. But I'm going to talk through those in a moment and we're also going to add this little stopper because it's really helpful. So removing these pieces, what I like to do with any of these kind of dies when I get them, I like to just go over the score line. So you will see that they give you all these markings here. So I'm just going to line them up with a track and just go back over those. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have the part where you've got this long piece here along the bottom facing you. The back, the last back ones, these small ones will become mountain folds. This then in the middle will become a mountain fold. These will become valleys and you'll have mountain folds at the very front. So everything is a mountain fold apart from these smaller ones here. And also another nice thing is on the back of the packaging, it does tell you there. You can see mountain fold, mountain fold, valley and then mountain fold. Once you've folded it all down, I like to just burnish all of those score lines. And you'll see now you've got your centre stepper card. To have it how I had this one here, just pop it on its side. But I just wanted to show you a couple of other things that you can do. If you fold this bottom one out, but keep that one back, you could also have it that way. It will still fold flat, but when you open it, you have a different look because you could have it like this from the inside. And what you can also do is if you flip it over and have this as the front, when you open it up, you could have that as the inside and also if you have two of them so if I open this one up imagine you've got the two you could stick them together there and you've got a showstopper style card you could do the same this way stick the two together and you've got a fun card shape that way as well so there's quite a few kind of different ways that you can fold this so once that's all in place I've taken this bit here which is five and a half by two 
and along the two inch side I've scored it every half inch so half an inch one and one and a half and then you just want to concertina fold so it's a mountain valley and a mountain so you've got an m shape okay now i'm actually going to stick it in so it's a w shape so just flip it over i'm going to pop this in first because then it's going to be easy to decorate so i'm just going to run some liquid glue all the way down one side and i'm going to sit this so this is the front of the card where you've got all the detail i'm going to sit this along the back so the fold is running flush with the bottom of the card and then i'm going to add the glue along the other side And then you want to just make sure you fold it over these ones because you don't want it sticking to those. And then, oh, and then stick to the front. So you can still fold it flat, but now when that opens up, it's not going to fan out and kind of flatten. You see, it stands up really nicely. So now we've got that all ready, we can start to decorate it. So I'm just popping my glue on the back there. And you'll see they fit in really easily. And you get that perfect border all the way around. And I'm going to do the same, stick the back one down and stick these down in here. To be honest, now I've closed that, you probably don't need to add the square ones in because they go right inside there and you're not going to see it. So I'm probably just going to leave those ones. But you can see on this one, if I open it up, how they look. So obviously you'll see them more on that one because it opens up more. So because I've used mirrored card, I'm going to stick this down using double sided tape. So I'm just focusing on like this corner here and then along the bottom. And then I can make sure that, that all lines up and I'm going to do the same with the back piece here. I'm just using my double sided tape. So I've stuck it all down, but I've removed the stopper. I think it needs to be bigger so that it can fan out more. So I've got this piece of two and three quarters by five and along the two and three quarters you want to score it a quarter of an inch one and a half and two and a half because of the little step that's this step here that kind of stops the card coming out further than you'd want with that original stepper so i'm just going to fold this one so when you fold it you'll have like a weird W shape, but you'll have this longer slope and then the shorter, the longer slope you want at the front. So I'm going to use my glue again. I mean, this is completely optional, but unless you, you know, like with any stepper cards, if you don't heavily burnish it, then it won't stand up. I mean, it's okay on here, so a bit of grip on this surface, but you know, on any polished surface, it's probably just going to fan open. So now I'm going to stick this one inside here. So just like we did before, mine's shorter, but it doesn't matter. As long as it fits within this section. And then I'll run my glue all along this one. And then sit it inside there. And now when that opens up, this can move out more and it just stands up much better. So it's quite nice to have it more open. So it kind of goes flat like an easel and then that will just fold up flat like so. So I actually prefer that. It just feels, yeah, it's nicer having it, you know, open a bit more. So now that's all in place. I've got my, I'm gonna flatten that down again. I've got this here, this rosette. I love rosettes on stepper cards. This is two pieces of, I think it was eight by one inch. Along the eight inch side, I just scored it every quarter of an inch all the way along. And I've just popped the little butterfly in the middle there. I've got a tutorial showing you how to make rosettes. So I'll link that up here. And then I'm just gonna use some hot glue. You don't have to use hot glue, but I'm just gonna pop a little bit on the back there. And then I'm gonna have this a little bit higher there. I don't want it to take away from the, the pattern. So it's come out to the edge a little bit more and I want to make sure it fits in the envelope. There we go. Yeah, that looks nice. And then this is my sentiment here, but I've gone and cut another one because to stick that now, mirrored card, if I was to put glue on the back of that and stick it on here, you'd probably get smear marks all over, which you can remove, but because it's so delicate, it's easier if you have any double-sided 
adhesive sheets so i've got these ones here again by the creative craft products brand and i've just cut a strip off the bottom here you get six pack six sheets of a4 and i've just popped it along the back of this piece of scrap and now i've attached that die in place and i'm going to run that through you'll probably need to add a shim because it's cutting through this coated mirrored card plus that layer of double-sided tape so i'm going to pop a shim on top run that through a couple of times and then you just have to peel the backing off and stick it onto there because that's your shadow die and then you should be able to just find the end there peel that backing off and then if you start from the end here and just get it so it's got a nice frame tuck that down and now all the rest will fall into place like so and now you've got no sticky marks I'm just going to pop some foam on the back there and then I'm going to have this one kind of like it's slightly angled actually so it's kind of coming over the side there there we go it'll look really cute so that's the card finish but now I want to make a envelope to match so I'm using the A6 envelope maker because this fits inside perfectly you get tons of dies in this one you get 21 dies so if you make a lot of A6 cards, then you might find this one quite useful. So first of all, cut the main one there. And this is just using a 120 GSM paper. I'll link the paper that I use to make my envelopes. So I've just run that one through and then I've just run tape along the sides there where the tabs are. Again, I've just gone over the lines. You'll see them, but I've just gone over them on my scoreboard. So it makes them easier to fold. So I'm just going to fold those three like so then I've taken the other large die now these dies will need a larger die machine I was a little bit unsure because they're six and a quarter wide I thought they might go through a standard one but you do need a larger format so then I've run that one through and this is the one that's going to stick on the front here so I'm going to take off the backing here and I'm just going to pop that one down and just tack that in the corner there because it does slightly overlap so it does hold it in place there. And then again, I'm just tack that one down. Like so. And then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to start with the bottom and just line it up in the corner. And then all along the bottom there and then just roll it over the rest okay so now we have our envelope if you're a little bit wonky like i am there now i'm just going to trim that off because you would never know there we go and then you've got all your mats and layers there's loads to decorate your envelope so i'll cut this one using some of the papers there from the pad so it all matches and then i've cut this one again in this pattern but because this is a single-sided paper if it was the same color inside then this would really pop but this one here is designed to go inside here to decorate this part of the envelope so i'm still going to pop it in there you'll see then that closes down but it's just quite nice when they open the envelope and i would use a wax seal on this one as well to close it so then you don't add any adhesive around here so i'm going to stick that one inside and you only need to stick i'll do this one actually and then i'll just speed the rest up you only need to add the glue to this part and then just slide that in so just pop it in there and line it up with the kind of sides there and then just close that down because that can't come out there's nowhere that can go like so and then when you open it up you know you'll see the card inside so i'm going to stick that one down on there and then i'm also just going to cut this one in the same 
colour as the envelope and stick that there and then I can just pop my message on the front and then I've cut this one here so you get two so this one will cut this design into this side of the envelope because there's only a cut line on the outer side so you've got that option or you can have this die which does the same design but it cuts it completely and then you can just stick it over the top which I like you can see there you just run it along the top and that just decorates it really nicely and i've just pulled the colors there that are in the pattern paper so i'm going to stick all that down okay so there's the finished card and there's the matching envelope and i'll just pop it in there so you can see it all fits in there really nicely like so and then like i said i'd use a wax seal on the back of that and I tend to hand deliver a lot of my more bulky ones, but if you don't add the rosette like I have, then that will be fine for posting. But that's the, the way that I guess it's intended to be as a center stepper card, but you can also have it as the side step and write your message inside. You can see that stands up really nicely. And then I've got the matching envelope there as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. Maybe you've already got these dies, you haven't used them yet. So it might give you some inspiration to pull them out and give them a go. Maybe you just enjoy making stepper cards and the way I've decorated these gives you some inspiration. Either way, I hope it's um, been a nice tutorial for you to watch. I will link everything that I've used as always in the description box below. Check out the tutorials coming up now of other stepper cards and like I said, the playlist as well for different sizes. Take care and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.